Good day guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did this um, little family, so we can change some uh, parameters. So we can change the shape of this geometry. Uh, and also these are uh, the one to control the length of each part. Um, the issue we have in this family is we can't have this angle. We can't have a you know um, flat or or straight uh, like extrusion because when this angle becomes zero degree, it will break this family. Um, the reason is when this AA. So this is angle here. So when this angle becomes zero degree, so this radius will become you know, huge in, infin, uh, in in infinity. <laughs> okay, so so today um uh, we're go I'm going to show you uh, how to use um, a little condition if condition so we can have a zero angle and also this one become a, a flat or a straight like extrusion instead of you know curved. Um, three so this is the final result um 180 degree so even 24 to 40 and then you can flatten it and become zero degree okay so let's do it so first i'm going to close everything here okay maybe i'll start from this one so you can download this one from the last um video okay so now let's start. So first, let's have a look at uh, family types here. Some formula. So this is a, uh, the formula. So which uh, we're going to have issue with. So A A becomes zero. So when A A becomes zero, so we have this zero here. So which you know we can't have zero. Um, we can probably just do another create another parameter. So if this AA become zero, and we're going to use that new parameter to uh, to swap uh, this AA here. So so this will never uh, become zero. Okay. So so let's create a new parameter. Let's call it AA. Maybe AA one. And also you need to change this one to angle to match this AA. Okay. So angle instance and okay. So now here we're going to type a parameter so if so if aa equals zero um if aa equals zero and it the the aa one become let's say one degree otherwise aa one equals aa okay so this is the formula so and then we need to go here swap just typing one so become a one and also we need to go here so uh dimensions too small maybe i'll change the scale a little bit yeah that's better so now select this um parameter so let's change this one to a one um i think this one won't work now so let's have a test Oh, actually it works. So still works. That's all good. And maybe uh, it's easy. Uh, let, let me just uh, delete all this. I'm going to use this uh, family type to control it. So it seems okay when this one a become a a become zero. So a a one become one. So it, it's actually one degree between this one and this one. Okay. So um, it looks okay but it's not perfect so what we're going to do is because we want a perfect straight extrusion right so what we need to do is we need to create an, another another one another sweep which is a uh, uh, perfectly straight and only show that when the angle aa becomes zero degree and uh, all the rest of the time so we're going to show this one so let's 
uh, let me just change this back to, for example, 90 degree. Okay, so now select this one and here under property, so there is this uh, visibility. So I want to create a new parameter. So this one, this visibility, so we're going to uh, maybe call it vi visible. Um, I'll call it not, not zero. Okay, so not zero when it's not zero degree. So this geometry will be visible in the instance and OK and OK. So now we need another geometry. So the other one will be straight. So I'm going to um, create a new reference line. I'll just start it from here and start uh, here roughly. And also I want to lock constraint it. Okay, so AL reference line, reference, oh, sorry, reference plan, reference line, lock. Okay, so it seems um, it automatically lock onto something. <laughs> so actually, what I want to do is VV. So sometimes when you're not sure about the constraint, so you can always check this one. So VV, go to annotation categories, check this one. So it will tell you if anything not constrained, it will give you this, the dimension. So this uh, it automatic sketch dimension. So it seems uh, the length of this one is not constrained. So that's okay. So we can select this reference line. I'm going to create a length parameter here. So let's drag it down a little bit and create a new parameter. So this, let's call it, um, so this is W, this is W2. Maybe I'll call it W3. Here's a W3. So, um, and okay, so instance, and maybe I'll change this parameter to W1. Okay, so to be consistent, um, W1. Okay, so now we just need to give this W3 a formula. So it equals W1 plus W2 plus the length of this arc, which is here, AL. Okay, so we did this last time. So now go W3 equals W1 plus W2 plus AL. So apply. Okay, so now you will see this length of this one is exactly this. And then the next step, we can just create a sweep. So a sweep and then use pick path and pick this reference line and finish. Go edit profile. So let's just go to 3D view and I'm just going to pick line and pick the shape uh, of this geometry. Okay, so our top button, that's a circle. So finish and finish. So now we have uh, a sweep, but more like an extrusion, exactly the same profile. Okay, so now we can select this one and create a new visibility parameter. So this time, let's call it a visible uh, zero. Okay, so when when uh, that angle is zero, so this one will be visible. Instance and OK and OK. So now let's go to family types, and we are going to give give the uh, one or give both a visibility parameter a uh, formula. So when AA equals zero so when aa equals zero so we don't need if we just need to type in aa equals zero okay so which means yeah i think that's um <laughs> sometimes it will be very confusing when you're trying to do this but my suggestion is don't worry too much just um just just do it so this is opposite, so this one will be opposite of that one. So you can just use not, not AA equals zero, and that's it. So just have a test and see if this the result is correct. So if you click apply, so so you will see in family. So this 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 geometry, the bound the, the edge of this geometry become half tone, which means if I load this family into a 
project, so this geometry will be invisible. So to be more clear, uh, clear to be clearer, so you can use this preview visibility on. So now this part will be uh, hidden. So I think this is correct. So when it's 90 degree, which is not zero, this part will be visible. And when um, when when this one becomes zero, so let's try when this becomes zero, and then this becomes visible and this one's being hidden, right? And I think that's um, that's it. So now let's have a test. So go, uh, let's create a new project and I'm going to just use the temp uh, architecture template and load this family into here so now this is so currently it's a uh, zero degree and perfectly straight right and then let's try uh, maybe 45 degree or good 90 degree good 180 degree good and go back okay so 90 degree 45 degree one degree zero degree one degree two degree 90 180 okay all good turn uh, 240 uh, let's say 270 how about 360 oh it doesn't work <laughs> how about 359 still work but not 360 <laughs> anyway it looks good i think and w1 one meter yeah 900 good uh where's al oh where's my al oh it's here anyway so maybe i'll just change the i'll change the parameter so from al from type to instance okay so instance okay load this back overwrite okay so now al become here um yeah let's try 90 nine oh that's too small i think 900 oh not nine meter oh, 900 yep so i think that's it um zero degree one degree yep all good um that's it uh, this is how we deal with um sometimes when we can't have zero degrees we just need to create two geometry and somehow hide the one which we can't have one zero degree and just show the other one when uh, that happens okay so thank you for watching and if you have any questions please let me know um, i'll see you next time okay see you next time thank you i i will upload this family for you thank you bye